probably four or five coats. There actually is an automotive clear coat that I want to get, and I want to try that shit out. Um, but use that over it so it's nice and glossy. And then on top of that, I will go ahead and I will spray on my um, silver. Well, actually, it's like a... Uh, it's like a bluish... Or a silvery blue. That's how it looks. Three months. Three months. Because I already work 10 hours a day. Sometimes 12 to 14 hours a day I work. When I'm in a crunch, I work 16 hours a day. There have been times where my fiance has seen me when I've worked a week. And out of that week, I've got only about 6 to 7 hours sleep to get a project done. You know, um, one thing a lot of people don't understand is one thing to say buy parts and just smack them together and, and, and build your suit and you're done. That's different. It's the second thing where you have to make and fit every last piece from scratch. It is seriously time consuming. Rewarding, but time consuming. If you've never ever messed with EVA foam, you've got to do two things. One, watch people like me, watch what we do and how we do it. Two, go onto YouTube and look up by EVA foam builds so you can get an, another idea of how other people do it. And three, your very first project, start small, like a gauntlet. Single, a simple ass gauntlet, you know, so you can get an idea on how to do strapping, how to apply the glue, um, make a duct tape dress form of your body. Those are all really important steps. What you see in the camera off shot right there, that's a duct tape dress form of my whole torso, from my neck down to my upper thigh, you know, and I build my armors around that. When I Build um, Calibrito, the armor parts, the body parts, I'm using that. I'm building it right on top of that. That way I will know how it fits. And I will also know that it's going to fit me properly because I've got a carbon copy of my body right there. Actually, I got to do a new one because I lost weight <laughs> since then. I lost like 40 pounds. So I got to make a second one that's more accurate on my body size now. Uh, can you do it? Only you can answer that question. I don't know how fast you pick up on new techniques. You know, whether you are an artist already. You know, like I, I actually am a fine artist. <clears throat> I, I, I've learned how to, you know, do computerized art, paintings, murals. I went to school for it. So all that translates to this for me. And I'm able to pick up on stuff in this region, in this realm, a lot faster because I'm used to being creative like that. But I would say with you, man, can't nobody tell but you. And all the way depending on how fast you pick up on the techniques and stuff needed to work with this. You know, um, it's a good point, Jereen. I have a book if you want to get it. Uh, if you scroll on down the screen once again, you'll see a little book. And pretty much I documented in that book how I built my war armor. Okay, now you can buy the book from Lulu.com, it's like 40 bucks, but I would say if you want to save some dollars, you can order the PDF through me, and that's only 20 bucks, so that saves you some money right there. Uh, and plus you'll get it a lot faster. If you go to Lulu, you got to wait for it to be processed, then it's got to be shipped out to you. It's going to take you anywhere from a week to three weeks to get the book. But PDF copy, all you got to do is let me know. After the stream, I send me a Twitch message with your email. I'll send you an invoice to PayPal. Once that's paid, I will ship you the copy of the book. One, two, three. So, 
so for everybody that my book has loved it too I try to like you know once again no fillers <clears throat> be straight to the point you do this do this do this do this and do that <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty much how I did it you know um, cool. so that way there wouldn't be as little confusion as possible and I go in the book from the beginning stages and when I say beginning I mean beginning how to make a duct tape dress form and why and I have pictures in there depicting all the reasons why and, and how I did it <clears throat> and then from there it'll go into pattern making and you see me doing patterns and cutting stuff up you know there are even um, links in the book to, to videos on YouTube that I made of myself working on the project so it's not bad no problem man no problem be careful with that flat armor too um, I bought my EVA from a site called Echo Tiles if um my lovely little moderated dream if you can link into chat sweet see she already on it awesome <clears throat> but that's why I buy the bulk of my phone from um, because if, it, if it's a project where it's not too too huge these these tiles do the job and shipping and handling is free that's always good but if you're doing a project where you need like a sheet that's like five feet long you know and maybe like three and a half four feet tall there's a second site you can go to um, but they are expensive you're going to pay about I think it's 40 to 60 bucks a sheet I think for the watches I bought from them and that is like for I believe the inch thick foam but they have half an inch they have inch they go all the way up to like two inches thickness and they also have varying densities um, like this foam here is all in density but the other site which I believe is called echotiles.com um, you can get L200, L300, L400 up to I think 500 is the thickest one well the densest one and the higher the number the, 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 the more dense it is the harder it is to bend it Yeah, Ralph, it's definitely a good place to go. You know, great customer service, too. Really cool, folks. <clears throat> I know certain days this month, they are closed. Um, so you may want to check and make sure that if you do order it, like, today's one of the days where they allow ordering, you know, in-house. <clears throat> looking good sweet so I still gotta put the caps on this <sighs> which I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that real quick if I had something that was bent the right way I can just simply do a decent sized circle, heat up the heat gun, and then press it over it, and like hold down the edges, and it would take that, that entire shape. But I don't think I have anything that's shaped like that ear is. Because it's circular, but it comes up to like a triangle point. So I may have to just, um, do it the old fashioned way. Let's go ahead and take a piece of this scrap and 
try this out. find somebody first that um, might be streaming so so we can give them a little bit of stream love Yeah, Ralph, man, you have a good one yourself, sir. Let's see. I think there's a person who was working on a cosplay. Oh, nope. Not even there. <clears throat> they are gone. Alright, guys, so I guess there's nobody else really to doing costuming stuff. That's currently on for me to uh, send you guys to. So, we're going to just call it here for the night. Uh, I want to thank you all for coming by and watch me, you know, begin another project. Um, it's going to be a great project. Lots of fun involved in it for sure. Um, don't forget to watch out me for Sunday, 2 p.m. Uh, PDT time. Um, so you can watch me work on the dagger. You know, prep it for molding and stuff and get it casted, all that good stuff. Um, watch me assemble it after I cast it, do my final things like I do to it to install lights into it. Uh, yeah. So I'll see you guys Tuesday. I mean, on Sunday. Peace. <laughs>